What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMMAK. Just 10 more minutes, aka the freaking 10, back again with another video. Back again with another Sabaton, this time Night Witches. Um, I've gotten so many requests that I'm kind of going through them and, and grabbing them. Um, you know, and thank you for the comment of kind of, you know, letting me choose my path um, of which songs to kind of cover. I'm going through with request, um, kind of as I get them, right? And I know those sometimes jump around um, from CD to CD um animated to live and things like that but it's really it's just going in and picking it so like this one i'm going with the animated i do see the history one that i'm very interested to check out i do see also the live version um i think it was the from the same concert um that i watched the other video on uh, um about the great war and so you know i'll kind of be going through those yeah i'm going to cover all of them eventually similar to what i've done with ginger and nightwish we're going through both animated and live, so be, please be patient. I will be covering all their songs and, and looking as much of the history as I can. So with that being said, this one is from 2014 off the Heroes. It says it's the bonus version. Um, you know, on the spelling of names, I try to make things as accurate as possible with what Music Match has. So um, I know there was discussion. I believe it was on the name here, and I won't pronounce uh, pretend to know how to pronounce it um so i'll apologize it with an american keyboard i don't think it translates well um with some of the uh letters and other alphabets so this is night which is it's it's something i'm interested in seeing about um i do believe this is about female pilots uh simply because i saw the the sabaton history um channel that popped up and that was one of the titles so I am assuming it's female pilots, but the story of it, I don't know yet. You're getting my true first reaction to it as usual. With that being said, let's switch it up and give it a listen. All right, let's go. The Germans are resting behind the lines of the Eastern Front. Their tents in neat rows. All is in order in the quiet and still of the night. It's cold and the winter snow crunches under the jackboot of a guard. Looking up into the sky, the snow starts to drift down. It's peaceful here. Was that a noise from the sky? No, it's just the wind. Suddenly, piercing the still of the night, there's an otherworldly scream and a whoosh as a dark form speeds by. And was that a woman's laughter in the distance? There are no engine sounds, and the suddenly fearful German soldier loses his footing and whispers under his breath, Die Nachthexen. The world is all at once a bloom of fire and ash, and two more dark forms pass without a sound. Hearing the whooping and celebration of these supernatural creatures, the guard shakes himself from his fear and calls out, Die Nachthexen! Die Nachthexen! The Night Witches! In the sky, above, three planes of the soon-to-be-famous 588th Night Bomber Regiment, their engines now running, turn east for home. Time to rearm and refuel for another mission. Coming into land, they're greeted by their commissar, Yevdokia Rashkevich. The young girls that form the pilots and navigators are between the ages of 17 and 26. They are desperate to take the fight to the wow. Germans and have traveled from all over Russia to join the all-women regiments. The 588th is where the least skilled of all the women are placed, but that didn't stop them from carving their name in history. In the early days, they were largely ridiculed by the Soviet men. Given men's uniforms that were too big and shoes all of the same size, the women did the best they could with the clothes, making them fit with belts or filling the large men's shoes with stuffing. The equipment they were given was woefully out of date. The Polykarpov PO2 was a two-man trainer, underpowered and made of cloth and wood. These old string bags were nicknamed crop dusters, or even worse, sewing machines due to the noise their tiny engines made. But the women of the 588 ignored the taunts and despite the odds, turned the plane's shortcomings to their advantage. The planes at maximum speeds were far below the stall speeds of any of the German fighters. Giving them a tight turning circle, they were almost impossible to hit. They were susceptible to small arms fire and anti-aircraft guns. So their strategy was to attack in threes with a navigator in each plane. At her signal, the pilot would cut the engines and swoop in slowly, silently. 
dropping their bombs, dealing death from above. Beautiful. Unexpected, Very freaking undetected, smart. stealth perfected. If necessary, the other two would draw fire from the fighters or from the ground. They slept during the day and rose at dusk to take their vengeance on the invaders. This unnatural bravery and their stealth tactics earned them their title, the Night Witches. The German ace, Johannes Steinhoff said, we simply couldn't grasp that the Soviet airmen that caused us the greatest trouble were in fact women. These women feared nothing. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm totally new to the story and that's just fascinating because that's brilliant. And I was trying to figure out at the beginning how they would have done that without the engines and the only way is to truly cut the engine and swoop in. Um, to take those risks, right? And, and take the taunts and the ridicule only drove them to work harder and work smarter, right? Coming in at night, killing the engines, dropping in, in what's perfect stealth attack. Um, it, it, that's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, I'm, I want to see how that now translate into the music. So let's go. Beautiful rhymes. So I'm going to stop it there. <clears throat> so instantly they start with the chorus. Or or actually, I shouldn't say the chorus. With an opening that almost sounds like a chorus is, is where I was going with that. Um, and then just... It, it gives... And I've said this about other songwriters, right? When... There's some artists that will write to rhyme and some of the rhyming words fit in, but then they kind of stretch it. So they work it in in the middle of a verse and not at the end. And then some write it to where some even don't rhyme. And then some like this, it's it's truly written in such a rhyme scheme that it hits at multiple points within, right? From the depths of hell and silence cast their spells Right, so you get a hell and spell, explosive violence, Russian nighttime, flight perfected, flawless vision undetected. Pushing on and on, their planes are going strong. Air Force number one, somewhere down below, they're looking at their foe, bombers on the run. So you get multiple rhyme schemes, right? Because you're getting pushing on and on, going strong. Air Force number one. Somewhere down below, they're looking for their foe. So there's one. Uh, bombers on the run, which goes back against, against Air Force number one. So multiple rhymings within, but it all works with the melody and the way that they're putting it together. That's, I love a song like this just because you start to hear the, the rhymings and you're like, okay, that's really cool. 
You can't hide. You can't move. Just abide. Their attack's been proved. Raiders in the dark. Silence through the night. The witches join the fight. Never miss their mark. Right? So you get Raiders in the dark and mark. Canvas wings of death. Prepare to meet your fate. Night Bomber Regiment 588. Undetected, unexpected wings of glory. Tell their story. Aviation, deviation, undetected, self-perfected. Brilliant freaking rhyming. Brilliant lyrics. It, it tells their stories. Foes are losing ground, retreating to the sound. Death is in the air, suddenly appears, concerning all your feel, fears. Strike from witch's lair. Target found, come around, barrel sound. From the battleground, axes aiming high. Rodina awaits, defeat them at the gates, live to fight and fly. I mean, it just... Brilliant. Canvas Wings of Death, prepare to meet your fate. Night Bomber Regiment 588. This, I mean, automatically, this is a 10. Um, it, it's brilliant rhyming. It's brilliant lyrics. It, it tells the story. You know, the animation just adds to it. I, I can't wait to see the live version of this. But let's keep going and finishing this one out. Beautiful shot right there in the, uh, against the 32 women, both pilots and navigators, never came home. The 588th became highly decorated and respected, flying more than 23,000 sorties, wow. dropping over 3,000 tons of bombs. 23 Night Witches were awarded the Hero of the Soviet Union, although they were disbanded just six months after the war and not allowed to fly in the victory parade, given their planes were so slow. Mm. From 1956, after she retired from active service, their commissar, Yevdokia Rajkevich, took it upon herself to find the site of every single one of her girls that was downed, to mark the place, wow. and to pay her respects to each one of the incredibly brave night witches. Yeah, that one kind of got me on that for her to do that. Okay. Um, let me finish out, then I give my final thoughts. Undetected, unexpected, wings of glory tell their story, aviation, deviation, undetected, self-perfected. Beneath the starlight of the heavens, unlikely heroes in the skies, and then you hear that witches to attack, which is coming back. As they appear on the horizon, the wind will whisper that when the night witches come. Undetected, unexpected wings of glory tell their story. Aviation, deviation, undetected, stealth perfected. From the depths of hell and silence, cast their spells, explosive violence. Russian nighttime flight perfected, flawless vision, undetected. Yeah, that little part at the end actually kind of made me tear up a little bit. It, just for their... Um, their leader to go back and, and, you know, search for each of the sites, right? Um, that's just pure dedication and, and 
honor and love and respect and I mean, all of those things, right? So yeah, that's kind of touching. I mean, it, it's powerful enough to know, I mean, against all odds, right? And this is this is the beauty of music like this and stories like this and why history should not be erased, regardless of how negative it is, is because there's stories like this that would disappear with it. And telling how these women against all odds, no, no battle was too tough for them to, to go in, knowing they had slower planes, knowing that you know, they didn't have necessarily the same skills as some of the more um, seasoned veteran pilots. They didn't give a rat's rear end and they said, we're going to do our part. And they went in and did and they they built their strategy around what their strengths could be. And and I'm sure they tested those things with the planes and, and being able to cut and fly and things like that with the engines. But it, it just teaches a story about determination. And when you believe in something as strong as fighting for your country, that use your strengths to your advantage and against the enemy's weakness. Because I can only imagine as those German soldiers, as they told at the first part of the story, were standing there and not hearing anything, but starting to see these shadows right in the night. That had to be terrifying. Because in your mind, you're thinking, I should be hearing a plane engine if that's a plane. Why am I not hearing that? And I don't know that it necessarily probably registered right away in their minds that they had cut the engines until it was too late. So this is utterly brilliant. And I and I should have expected it. I know I come into each of these Sabaton songs and I'm like, you know, this is going to be great. And... and then I'm just even more blown away than I was at the start of the video. And maybe it's the learning part. I love learning history, no matter how much I forget about it. Um, this just tells the story in such a way. I really wish these were in schools to teach some of these because I guarantee kids would retain it better. You know, music is something that when you get that hook, when you get that, like the undetected, unexpected, Wings of Glory tell their story, aviation, deviation, you know, self-perfected or undetected, self-perfected. That just, it, it helps put that together and tell the story. And that's just, hmm. there's not much else to say. Let me switch it up. I'll get my final thoughts. You know, when I hear a song like this, and it's really been with every song of Sabaton, teaching these little chunks of history and these little stories that that make up the bigger picture of what went on um, it, during a time of war really makes you appreciate the sacrifices that went on. We've heard stories before, right? And we've seen movies, Saving Private Ryan, that tell some things. Um, things like, you know, um, Heartbreak Ridge and Bridge Over the River Kwai. And I mean, there, there's been so many, you know, military movies over the years, at least from American TV. I'll, I'll set preface it with that that you know you you get an appreciation for they went through but then when there's something like this that tells a, a story about a certain group that defied all the odds of you know being made fun of and ridiculed and given all these extra large clothes and too big of shoes and they didn't let that deter them right they could have easily just said okay fine we're not wanted we'll go home and they turned around and became one of the, you know, major uh, regiments, as I said, well decorated, um, you know, and unfortunately they couldn't fly at the victory parade. And that's kind of sad. I, I get why with the planes being too slow, but yeah. Beautiful song. I look forward to watching the live version um, of this and then watching the, the history of it. Um, if it's something that you want me to watch the history of it, um, as a reaction, let me know. I'm more than happy to do that. Um, I've kind of been uh, pondering some things as far as being able to do special requests like that, um, but I'm not quite sure I want to go there yet. So, um, But if you want me to, let me know. I can maybe add that into the mix uh, and maybe do that on a free-for-all Friday. So with that being said, I'll give my shameless plug as usual. If you like that video, hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. 
Um, if there's any additional stories to this with the Night Witches, let me know. Um, and if you like the content I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. Continue to support. Let's me know as a content creator that the content I'm putting out is what you're wanting to see. With that being said, my friends, that'll close out this edition of JTMM with Sabaton and Night Witches. Always remember, excuse me, Night Witches. With that being said, always remember, if someone asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one, don't ask for two, and certainly don't ask for five. If someone asks you to stop what you're doing, always ask for just 10 more minutes. I'm JTMM. I'm out.